Hello, you're watching Hexus TV. We're at CES 2010, and I'm talking to Warren East, who's the CEO of Arm. Hi, Warren. Hi. Okay, so last time we spoke to you was at Computex about sort of half a year ago. Um, what is the specific interest for Arm at this show, CES? Well, this has been a fantastic show for us. If you wander around the show floor, a huge proportion of uh, the stands are showing Arm-powered products, and uh, so that's the, the first highlight. And we're interested because you know, we have a very strong reputation in mobile, so you'll see us at Mobile World Congress. Um, but if I look over the next three or four years, then I can see mobile type market shares for ARM appearing in all sorts of consumer products that you see here, in particular in things like uh, high end TVs. Okay. Um, so you say mobile type products in high-end TVs, you're talking about the, a, a sort of very low power sort of system on chip or, or low power processor that enables us to do extra things in those devices? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying <coughs> ARM's low power technology, which has been very successful in mobile, uh, is now migrating into a broad range of consumer products. Uh, the low power aspects make it very suitable for high levels of integration uh, and that means that uh, TVs and those sorts of things can have tremendous levels of functionality, uh, which is what our future TVs are going to look like. Okay. And specifically at this show, um, can you just sort of run through some of the highlights from your point of view? Uh, well, I think we've seen a number of ARM partners showing off some fantastic products. Um, NVIDIA's Tegra 2 is a highlight, uh, Qualcomm's Snapdragon which powered the uh, the, the best in, in show uh, Lenovo product that I'm, I'm sure you've probably talked about. I didn't know it was best in show actually. Yeah. Hey, one best in show last okay. night so, uh, so that's very good and congratulations to them really. Um, We've also seen products from uh, NXP, from Marvell, from uh, ST uh, and Samsung. Uh, and uh, they're all ARM powered. It's probably the year of the Cortex A9 for ARM, which is fantastic because you know this time last year, we are probably looking at the, the, the posters on the yeah, wall the, the PowerPoints, and yeah. the PowerPoints and that sort of thing. And this year you've got silicon and you've got real demonstrations and uh, you can see just how fast the ARM processors can go. And just to remind myself that uh, Cortex A9 is scalable up to four cores. Is that right? That, that's right. Um, uh, and uh, earlier this week, I think we had uh, we had Marvell announcing a, a quad core ARM product. Oh, I was going to ask. And um, Nvidia have been announcing a dual core ARM product. Yeah. So we're we're actually seeing multi processing happening as well, which is which is very okay. encouraging. I, I didn't know about the Marvell one. I'll have to go and check that out. Um, okay, and. Uh, Back to back to ARM. Um, so we, we, we're looking at this as the year of, of the Cortex A9 and, and the and the multi-core yeah. low-power processors. Um, f what about uh, what can we expect to see from ARM, and then also from the ARM ecosystem um, in the months going forward? Okay, well, I mean, later this year you will see um, next-generation ARM microprocessors launched. Uh, so that, that'll be a highlight uh, in 2010 for ARM. You'll see us pass uh, uh, 20 billion units cumulative shipment of ARM microprocessors during 2010 as well, and uh, I, I'm sure we'll be marking that as a, as a very significant milestone. ARM's 20 this year okay. as well as a company, so uh, it's all the 20s. Um, uh, I think between now and, say, Computex, if you're going to Computex again this year, then we will see significant improvements in the ARM software ecosystem, particularly around Computex type products, um, tablets, netbooks, uh, those sorts of um, consumer devices which are a little bit more than a smartphone and a little bit uh, a little bit less than a PC. Right, okay. And do, do any... I, kn I know from talking to ARM various times in the past, because you, you've got so many relationships and partners, you're, you're always sort of disinclined to show favoritism in one direction or another. But uh, do any particular sort of product form factors catch your eye, perhaps for your own personal use, that, that, you, that, are really, that you think are, are really providing something sort of new and exciting? Um, I haven't seen anything that, uh, that is particularly surprising. Um, I do like these very thin products, and of course the ARM low power technology means no fans, no thermal management. It means the industrial designers can be freed up to, to do their magic. Yeah. Uh, and, and we have seen some very attractive looking, looking very thin products out there, which uh, you know, for a traveler like me are very useful because yes. you, know, you don't, uh, don't carry the weight around. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to get a smart book off you guys some stage. Okay, yeah. okay well, look, thank you very much for your time. Great to meet you again, Warren. Thank you.